first against Edie. Puts it up and in over the left shoulder with a hook shot. Unbelievable. Juwan Gary getting that loose basketball. The ball reverse layup with the left hand. Oh, my goodness. Circus shot. Absolutely. Circus shot by Sammy Hoiberg. Got it. Josiah Alec is fourth three of the year. Looking, finding Wilcher three. Got it again. Dagger. High post to Alec. He's got Tominaga coming to it. Heights chasing him, fires, and scores. It unbelievable. Nebraska knocks off the top-ranked team in the country, and they are storming the floor. Sign your name, Fred Hoiberg. There's your signature win. Those might have been the best high V sounds we've ever put on the air. What a night it was at PBA as the Huskers knock off the number one ranked team in the country. Congratulations. That had to be a lot of fun. It was an awesome night, Greg. I just, you know, so proud of the guys start to finish. We talked a lot about Purdue, how quickly they get out of the gate. You, you watch the Illinois game, their previous game, and it was 22 to 6 before you could even blink. And that's what they do. They jump on teams. So the fact that we were the aggressor, we threw the first punch was such an important part of that game. And then we sustained it for 40 minutes. We knew they'd make a run, which they did. They were really hot coming out of the gate in the second half. We matched them a little bit. And then we pulled away with some really good defensive plays. And then we got the ball to the right guys. Kase, CJ both really had it going in the second half. Bryce played such a complete game after no reps in practice for two days leading into that one. And Rink, I mean, it, really everybody. Josiah hits a big three, uh, gets a great play in the pocket. Juwan, I mean, Sam, everybody that stepped on the floor made a contribution. A team win for the Cornhuskers. We're going to have some fun in the next half hour. We're going to review that game, and we'll go back to last week's game against the Indiana Hoosiers at PBA. All that coming up next. We welcome you back to the Nebraska Basketball Show presented by BMO. We're going to take you back a week. The Huskers matched up with the Indiana Hoosiers at PBA. Big game to kind of start a big stretch of games for you. And, boy, your defense was so active in this entire game. Yeah, I thought we, I really I loved our hand activity, and you could see it with, uh, I think we forced them into 19 turnovers and scored 27 points off of those turnovers. And that's what got us going in transition. Kese, uh obviously, was phenomenal all game long with a 28-point game. But uh, defense certainly led to offense. Uh, pretty much all night in this one. And you got Rink back. He had not played for a couple of games. How big was it just to get his presence on the floor? Well, it's huge to get Rink back. He does so many things for our team and really had about a day and a half of practice going into this after two weeks off. And it just shows the type of kid he is and how good of a job he keeps himself in shape and you know didn't score a ton but he just makes a huge difference when he's on the floor for us. Indiana out early with the lead Ware had missed a game because of COVID but was back. He's a good talented big. Yeah he's a force. He, he was really good in the paint. He and Renew uh, number five was coming off a 34 point game on the game that Ware missed and both those guys were tough and that's the guy I think that really makes him go is Galloway and uh, he cuts so well he makes winning plays uh, so, yeah, they're a talented team. That's a great play in transition right there. Uh, good simple play on the throw ahead. Good little action. Great screen by Rink to get Sam uh, downhill on that one. And, you know, again, I thought our offense was really efficient all night long. You had to play uh, Rink a lot because of some foul trouble in this game. And then we're hitting the stretch here where C.J. Wilcher really gave you a big spark. Yeah, C.J. was phenomenal. He, I think he hit three threes in the first half. Unfortunately, went out with a little back injury. Got knee in the back. Uh, had a bruise, still feeling a little bit of the effects, but yeah, just I thought we did a good job finding him. Good simple play there by Sam, uh, going right back to him when he had a little bit of space, and I just love the confidence that CJ's playing with right now. Yeah, rising up and hitting some shots. This is kind of the part of the game where you stretched it out a little bit. Late first half where you're able to push it to close to a double-digit lead. Yeah, and that's important when you can go into the break, and then the second half we came out and we forced them into an early timeout, and that's you know what you want out of your guys is obviously to get off to a fast start, in the second half after uh, you know a great finish. You know, those are important. Finish to halves and then the starts to halves are very important. So here we are, last couple minutes of this first half. Nice leaner here. Kese in the second half really takes the game over and he's we kind of been waiting for him to do some of that this year. He hadn't had really a lot of those games. Yeah, he's he's played great. You know, you look at the league games that he's had with uh, twenty eight in this one, then seventeen against a very tough Wisconsin team and then um, you know, the Indiana Purdue game. He's just yeah, he's he's been really good and you know, the shots that he the degree get difficult in some of his shots is just incredible. You were up eight at the half. Indiana kinda 
hung in there. This is a nice little slip play that Lawrence gets to lay in for you. But this this was really competitive through the first 30 minutes of this one. Yeah, Jamarcus, I, I thought, played as good a game as he has all year. Yeah. He, he was really, really good and, and efficient. And, you know, like you said, here Casey just had a stretch. Unbelievable. Great little pocket pass there to rank. When, when he draws attention, uh, he needs to make those plays. KSA gets gets it rolling. We're about to hit the stretch where he just takes his basketball game over. Indiana is a team that does not shoot a lot of threes, but they made nine of them in this game against us. They did. We 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 had some breakdowns, and you know, as good as our hands were and our activity, uh, you know, that's Bryce's rotation right there that he missed. Uh, you know, we were much better in the Purdue game. I thought we were really on point with all of our rotations, but we did miss a few there. Love that extra by Joe. Um, you know, in the in the corner, either that or a quick uphill toss. Uh, but I think Joe is playing really good basketball. This is a crazy play right here. And, you know, they leave him. I'm sure that wasn't the plan, but, you know, got a little lucky on that one. And, you know, Casey raising up without any hesitation. And then he, this is where he just really puts the hammer down and he ends up with 28 points, 4 of 10 on three pointers. You shot it really well from the free throw line. You held your own on the backboards. They out rebounded you, but that's the thing they can get you pretty good. Yeah, with their length, you know, great cut right there. Good job staying under control uh, by Jamarcus. Here's the thing I love about this game with Casey's 28 is his parents were there. Yeah. It was the one game his parents uh, were able to get to this year. And, uh, you know, did great play by Jamarcus getting a loose ball. I'm not sure how that wasn't a four point play, but. You know, again, for his parents to come, as much time as Casey has been away from the family is really special. And Rink's parents were in attendance as well. Huskers pull away, four guys in double figures. You had 15 steals in this game. And we mentioned Joe a couple times. He didn't have a big night scoring, but he made a lot of plays. Your team has been really good about being the first to the floor a lot. Yeah, that's, that's something we really try to pride ourselves on. And Josiah not only took a shot in this game, but it had as big an impact as anybody. Yeah, good stuff right there. 86-70, the final of the Huskers' 12th victory of the season. When we come back, we're going to check out the Nebraska Cornhuskers against the number one team in the country, the Purdue Boilermakers. We'll have those highlights next. Welcome back to the Nebraska Basketball Show presented by BMO. So the Oscars earlier this week took on the number one team in the country, the Purdue Boilermakers. Almost and boy, got the tip there. And they're a challenge. Hey, you did, gave yeah. up the tip. Why yeah. not, huh? They're yeah, a but challenge. But then they threw it away. It was, yeah. <laughs> and then came back. And this first play, we tried to get rank uh, if Edie was going to match up with him uh, just to pop him out, see if he could hit a shot. So it was a great first possession. And then he went at him in the post. You know, we talked about uh, Derek having some success getting into his chest. Yeah. If you give him any space, uh, you're not going to get it over him. But, you know, I thought that uh, uh, Rink was very aggressive early, and that was important. Really good start here. I love this play. I mean, that's just, you know, that set the tone right there with Juwan flying, going on the floor, beating two guys, getting the 50 50 ball, and then another great play by Rink here, spinning baseline and uh, uh, beating the double team. Yeah, Rink was huge in this game. You mentioned Derek Walker. He was in attendance for this game. Yeah, it was great to see Derek. Good to catch up with him. He came in the locker room uh, before the game. And uh, yeah, he'll be back for alumni weekend as well. Love that play right there. That was a really good movement play. Uh, good curl by CJ and a great pass by Rink. Mason Gillis gave them a lift off the bench. He had five threes in this game. And you knew Purdue could do that. And they, here they're in the midst of a run. Well, that's what makes them so tough is you got the most dominant force in the game. And then they got shooters spread all around. Him. And Gillis may be the best shooter right now, in the, shooting about 55% in the league. And you see him just coming off without any hesitation at four of them in the first half. But I thought we kept some of the other guys in check. You know, Lawyer killed us last year, and we did a good job on him. Another great play by Rink, and that just shows the versatility. Obviously, being able to knock down shots, but a couple of great plays to the rim. Great play by Bryce. Again, under control, not over penetrating, and making the simple play. How about Bryce? Just nine assists in this game for you. Well, he really distributed the basketball well. Yeah, and 11 rebounds. That's what that's what I loved. Is you know this team is so good with uh, with their ability to get second chance opportunities. And uh, Bryce was was huge. The shot wasn't falling early, but he did hit some big ones for us late. So you're down right here, but here's where you kind of grab a little bit of a control. You have a nice run here at this stage of the game to build a lead. Yeah, well, Edie went out with his second foul, and we went on a really nice run to finish the half. And, you know, just similar to the Indiana game uh, where we built an eight-point lead. This one, we got it up to ten at half, and that's huge because you know they're coming at some point. I thought Sam made some great defensive plays for us. He was a huge spark here during this run at the end of the first half. He sure was, and he also was a spark in a run you have in the second half that we're going to get to. So here you are, last minute of the half. Nice play by Sam up and under to build a double digit lead. For yeah, you. it's kind of, you know, the, all three of my boys, they're, they've got, they all golf left handed. And, you know, Jack, who played for Michigan State, he shoots left handed. So, the, and Sam really drives that thing with his left hand very well. It was a heck of a up and under, you know, over obviously a lengthy Purdue team. Now, here comes 
a Boilermaker run, and you knew those were probably going to be coming. They weren't just going to let you walk away. Yeah, this. and they came out. They were, I think, eight of ten to start. Edie hit uh, hit a couple shots. Uh, you know, Jones hits a couple threes with I thought a pretty good contest. And you know, but we hung in there and we didn't panic. And I thought we kept our composure and resolve. Again, Braden Smith is a heck of a player. It's a big shot. But here's where you know you come back and go on a run. Great job on the switch attack right there, getting the ball inside uh, to rink. And you know, Bryce hits a big one from. Uh, the perimeter on a similar type action. But again, you know you're not going <clears> to <throat> stop ED right there, but I thought we did a good job containing him for uh, for most of the night. Just sure did. I mean, he ends up with 15, but just really did not take over a game, which he's been known to do. Now, Purdue's going to pull to within one here in a moment. This is as close as it gets. And who hits a three but Joe Zaya hits yeah. a huge three. You know, he, he, nobody works harder than Joe. And, you know, to, they, we knew at some point they were going to put, when we played big, big, they would put Edie on him and kind of sit him in the paint. I told Joe, I said, you're going to have to knock down a shot for us. Love this screen by Jamarcus. That's a, that's a heck of a play on what we call our loaded side action to get C.J. loose, who really got it going in the second half. And then again, another big play by Sam. And I think this forced the timeout when it got to one and forced it back up to ten. Yeah, you did it there. You talked about C.J. in the Indiana game. He made three threes in this one for you with 16 points. Just continues to shoot with great confidence when he rises up to it. And here you're just making plays all over the place at this stage of the game. Yeah, here's that other play I was talking about. So you get the switch. We wanted to retreat, back Edie up, and then uh, go at him. Another great play by C.J. in the inbounds. Good screen by Rink. Uh, to get him going. This, you know, this is a bad play. We picked him up full court, let him get by us, and you know, Braden Smith made a heck of a play. Huskers though with 14 threes in this game. We talked about Bryce's line, 11 rebounds, nine points, nine assists, pretty close to a triple double for him. Yeah, he, he like I said, I mean, just stuffed his stat sheet. Played a lot of point in this game, and uh, again, K say that. I mean, you, you have no idea how hard that shot is falling away from length, and then just kind of sealed it right here with Rink getting by his man and, and uh, uh, you know, have a great finish of the basket. You mentioned 14 threes for the team. Casey had five of those threes for you. You play it out. The crowd goes crazy. They storm the court. This is what college, makes college basketball so special, Coach. What a great scene. Yeah, it, it was. I and I saw Coach Rule and Trev on the court. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool uh, to be able to go out and celebrate this one with our fans. You know, they deserve it. They were unbelievable and a difficult night with the snowstorm to still show up in full force. Great stuff. Huskers pick up their 13th win of the season. Four guys in double figures for Nebraska as they win it 88 to 72. We'll have more of the show coming up next. Welcome back to the Nebraska Basketball Show. Time for this week's Cornhusker Conversation, brought to you by teammates. This week, an in-depth look at assistant coach Ernie Ziegler. For me, when I first realized I wanted to become a coach, it was my high school coach, Robert Menefee, uh, at Detroit Cody. He uh, was coaching my brother, and my father had just recently passed away, and I became my brother's guardian, so I'm going to pick my brother up every day after school. And, my high school coach said, well, hey, you're up here every day. You might as well help me coach the team. And that's how I got my start starting to coach and developing a love for helping guys develop and reach their goals. Yeah, Coach Ziegler, I mean, he's one of the most experienced people that I've ever played for. And you can, he's someone that you have to respect as a coach and he brings a lot of wisdom. Obviously, he's been to the Final Four with UCLA. So just having a person on the staff that's had that championship level of experience it's just great to have him and somebody you can look up to and really learn a lot from. As a player, you'd be crazy not to listen to a guy that's had that much experience and knows so much about the game and how to get to the next level, you know, whether that's for teams or as players individually. I think what led me to Nebraska was first and foremost Fred Hoiberg. And um, once uh, coming aboard last August and then having getting a, have a building relationship with Adam Howard and Luca and and Nate and Emmanuel, um, you know, it's just about being able to connect with others. And I've had so many experiences working on so many different staffs at the uh, highest level. You know, for me, you know, I now working in the Big Ten, this is uh, I've now touched every conference. So all of those experiences and working on different staffs and championship staffs and helping guys reach their ultimate level of success you know, has prepared me for this opportunity here at Nebraska. You know, we have a culture that we've established and we talk about respecting 94 feet. And our guys are, have bought into that here over the last 16 months. And uh, for us, it's about continuing to build on that culture, continue to build on our core uh, habits 
our core principles to establish ourselves uh, and put ourselves in position to compete at the top of the Big Ten this season. Nice look there at Coach Ziegler. He's been with you now a couple years. Your thoughts about Ernie? Well, we were very fortunate to get Ernie Ziegler, a guy that has head coaching experience. He was uh, a huge part of the Final Four uh, teams at UCLA, uh, working for Ben Howland. Uh, he's worked in a lot of different systems, and he's a great recruiter. He's got connections all over the place. He's really responsible for us getting Bryce Williams uh, this year and, and certainly several others on our roster. So have been really, really pleased. He's great. He understands the chemistry that needs to happen on your staff. And I just, you know, can't say enough good things about Ernie. Very good. We're back to get some final thoughts from the head coach. We'll do that next. Welcome back to the Nebraska Basketball Show presented by BMO. Well, it doesn't get easy in this conference. Still some big games coming up. You're going to travel back to the East Coast to take on Rutgers. I know you're, you're a big fan of Coach Peichel and his teams. And Northwestern will be here. They're really good. And you're going to have a lot of alumni, including former coach Danny Neiman. Yeah, really, really going to be a fun day. We're going to uh, honor the Big 8 championship team and, and uh, Coach Nee and a lot of the players. I think we've got 170 players awesome. that are going to come to that game. And, you know, Coach Nee. Uh, I'm going to try to get together with him that night. He, he actually recruited me. He did a home visit in my house in Ames, uh, Iowa back in 1990, I guess that would have been. So <laughs> it would be great to catch up with Coach. We had him on the radio show a couple weeks ago, and he obviously talked for the majority of that segment. So we're looking forward to getting Coach Nee back, and I know he's going to get a great reception. Fantastic. Well, good luck. We'll travel back to the East Coast and get back home for some games. All right. Thank you, Greg. Huskers will be at R Rutgers Northwestern home. We're back to review those games and some more next week here on the Nebraska Basketball Show. My thanks to the entire Husker Vision crew and to you for watching. We'll see you again here next week.